And we welcome you back to Burnout 3 Takedown, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally going to be getting into Burnout 3 World Tour by starting in America. The land of the free and the home of the brave. Also, what better place to start a game about crashing shit than in America, where we're known for destroying shit in great detail. So, how this works is there's a certain track line with events open, so we'll probably do once we'll get into this, so we'll get like probably three or four events out of the way. That's the plan. So we have a race event and a crash event today. Um, hey, you still here? Okay, good. Awesome action is still to come, but if you're staying up at Webster's Inn, you're gonna miss out. The closest route is over a mile away. That said, look to the skies or maybe a few flying cars once this event kicks off. Keep it on, Crash FM. One not really nice thing about Burnout 3 is they actually have, there's a really funny uh, DJ that basically tells you pretty much everything in the game. So we're going to be at Silver Lake. We're going to be doing the race. And you only have one car, which is the compact. So you have three choices. But as you go, you're going to be uh, winning these cars as you go. So we're going to pick the uh, compact type 3, paint it blue, because why not? What's up, guys? You're listening to Striker on Crash FM. Just need a few minutes of your time to cover the rules of the burnout road. To succeed in burnout, you need to be winning races, but you're not going to win races unless you take risks. Did I mention the part about this game's got a kick and soundtrack? Easy. You earn boost. Using boost gives your vehicle a speed boost. And you can use boost at any time to keep you in the heart of the action. Here's the lowdown. Risks can be taken anywhere in the burnout world. You take risks, you get reward. Get it? Near misses with other cars. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Drifting around corners. Tailgating your rivals. Escaping crashes. And so it goes on. You can even string these together to get two or more happening at the same time. Okay, so earning boost is one thing. But to win, you need to steal it. Battle with your competitors by rubbing, slamming, shunting, and grinding with them. You'll get a quick boost fix and you can use it immediately to mix things up. If you want to take a bigger risk, try taking down your competition. Takedowns are when you wipe out one of your rivals, and if you do it, you'll grow your boost and fill it. But if you get taken down, your boost bar gets taken down too. Okay, something new is Crash After Touch. If and when you crash, activate Impact Time. When you are in Impact Time, you can steer your wreck. How cool is that? Use Crash After Touch to gain After Touch takedowns or to help you get to the places other crashers can't reach. That was a public service announcement brought to you by Crash FM. I know I'm probably going to gush over this a lot, like I did in uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, but this game is a kicking soundtrack. A lot of uh, punk artists in this game, which I really like. All right, Revenge, listen up. Kind of Six races are required ASAP Paradise. for a low down, dirty fight to the finish line. And he takes it. I have uh, had that as well, but a little bit of oh, okay. Yeah. Let's get it. There's two takedowns already. We're up to third. We got two laps. There's three. Ah, uh, that's it. I'm one. Look at this. Two stars. Two star drift, baby. Good nail three, but screw it. 
new to this game, and I don't think it returned in the later games. Is so. Uh, that's loud. Is uh, the signature takedown, where if you hit it off a certain point, you'll get a fairly cheesy uh, name about your takedown, such as there was uh, gone fishing. If you can get here, like I got another one. I could have played the fuck out of this area so much when I was younger. Um, oh my god, I freaking love this song. Now, if only this played every time I was, you know, fucking playing volleyball in gym last year, it would have made it a lot more bearable. Because <laughs> I freaking hate volleyball. Suck ass. It's I suck major dick at that game. So yeah, we're basically spanking everybody like redheaded stepchildren. Um, I should probably comparing it, everything to Burnout Two and Three. I should probably talk about some of the major differences. Uh, obviously, all the takedowns are a lot more cinematic compared to uh, Burnout 1 and 2, where Burnout 1 and 2 just encourage you to drive like an asshole. Um, here it's a lot more awesome and there's less crappy dubstep. But of course, um, obviously that was different because Acclaim didn't really have enough money to get a banging soundtrack like EA does. Look at this, I'm slanging this thing around corners. I am seriously gone. Ooh, a little bit of a fight drift. Or a wall grind. It's actually, compared to some of the later games, it's fairly easy to build up your boost. This here. Um, one thing I noticed is between this, Revenge, and Paradise, um, this and Paradise actually has Atomica and DJ Atomica and Striker. And I think Paradise has that as well. I'm sorry, Revenge is that as well. That might be something I do in the future. Um, but I know the Crash Train intros have somebody that literally sounds like Pornstar for an E10 rated game, which I'm like, E10, this is E10. Why is she so hot? So your post-race br breakdown is just all the points you got. So basically the more takedowns and aggressive you have, you get more points. The more aggressive you drive, that obviously counts as well, um, which kind of applies to the stuff he was talking about in that video. Your driving skills, and then obviously that multiplies together, and you can win a car at like 10,000 points, 20,000 points, 30,000 points from uh, – I remember. So we got two signature takedowns. Uh, and we win, car, win our car at 15 takedowns, which is another one for the compact line. Then you can get snapshots of your signature takedowns. Snapshot by Progressive. Hey, this actually is Fallout Boy before they lost their balls.
All right, so event number two, you can go downtown. There's a road rage event you can do out there. Or you can do a burning lap at waterfront. So I'm going to bang uh, the crash event out of the way. Here's the challenge. We have a stack of holiday traffic looking for excitement in their lives. Nav is updated. I'll see you there. Brief note here, you can basically throw anything you want at the crash. Here's everything you need to know. Brought to you by me. I'm Stryker right here on Crash FM. Burnout is all about risk and reward. Well, here's the ultimate risk and the ultimate reward. And the ultimate way to commit suicide. And slam into as much traffic as possible. When it's all over, we'll figure out how much damage you've caused. How many vehicles you've tagged and give you a damage total. All you have to do is beat our damage predictions. And we'll let you on to the next junction. Oh, and to make things really interesting, we place some markers for you to hit with your wreck. If you can tag them, we'll give you dollar increases or decreases. And for the ultimate reward, we'll trigger the crash breaker for an explosive surprise. Hey, I did say it was risk and reward. I just want to hit the totals and get to try some of the other rides we brought along. Okay. Something new is crash after touch. If and when you crash, activate impact time. When you are in impact time, you can steer your wreck. How cool is that? Use crash after touch to gain after touch takedowns. Or to help you get to the places other crashers can't reach. This is drive your covering crash on a crash event. See previous statement on how freaking awesome this game soundtrack is. And oh yeah, that is Crash. You can basically throw any car that this game has at a we crash. Have some high level destruction coming your way out here at Silver Lake. So we're, we're gonna throw a Honda Ridgeline at this because fuck it. <laughs> right here um, on Crash FM. So you've Three categories: gold is obviously 140,000, silver is 85, and bronze is 55. So, and you get the crash breaker in six racks. So, we're going to be throwing that at traffic. Funny as that shit sounds like a sports car. That pipe, that friggin' pipe loud, man. Come on, bounce, bounce, bounce. Come on, come on. Hit it, hit it. Oh, oh my god. Back, back. Ah, shit. This is, oh god. Oh my god, look at the destruction. Oh my god, I think I killed everybody. <laughs> Horrible tragedy struck in uh, Shelver Lake today. When a, a drunk guy threw a Honda Ridgeline over a ramp and a bunch of RVs, killing everybody stopped, and then everybody freaked out behind them. So, we killed it. <laughs> Safe to say the least. <laughs> Almost 200,000 our first try. <laughs> I'm so freaking evil. So, we get two new events. Just watch how epic this is. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. Hit it. Bounced off the truck. Killed those four RVs. Oh my god. Damn. I think everybody died. It's safe to say everyone's dead. Yeah, it's safe to say everybody's dead. Because, holy shit. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. We win a car at 1 million from the crash totals, so the more crash events we do, that obviously is going to be a lot easier. Um, event 3, we're going to be doing the... Uh, doing a race downtown, and then we're going to finish off with a burning lap. 
outside of the road rage. I'm Stryker and Crash FM, and it's very hot today. It's like an SPF 99 day, and I rubbed it all over my body. It's burnout hot. So you can see a preview lap where you can just experience, play around with the series that you don't have yet. So, for example, we have the sports series. So that'll be later. Um... Guess we'll just nail this road rage and do the. We'll just do this road rage and we'll probably do the burning lap and I think we'll be good there. Okay, the road rage competition is both against the clock and against your car. How many targets can you eliminate in the time provided? More importantly, can your car survive? It's all about speed and controlled aggression. Get to it. Five takedowns in three minutes. Oh god! Oh shit. Oh yeah, and there's no way to repair your car. Oh fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. There's one. So you gotta get to five. Hey, fuck you, guy. Oh, dick. Yeah, I'm going to restart. Yeah, screw that shit. I'm going to restart. Okay. The road rage competition is both against the clock and against your car. How many targets can you eliminate in the time provided? More importantly, can your car survive? It's all about speed and controlled aggression. Get to it. Hey. There's one, and we got some autopilot off to just blow the bronze star these targets out of the damn water. Oh, fuck you. Hey, fuck you, guy. There's two. Hey, fuck you, guy. Three. Yeah, we'll probably get, like, fucking 15 by the time this shit's over. Four. He dead. Five, come on. Oh, there's five. Oh shit. There's a bunch of semis. Bunch of scary ass semis. One guy died like right behind me. Some of these songs literally got me through freshman year. Oh. Hey, this game actually has My Chemical Romance. This is the B-side one again. Oh, shit. Eat cram, bro. Oh, okay, I ate some too. Oh my god. There is so much traffic down here, it's not even funny, holy shit. And it's got from first to last before from from first to last was cool. Got Von Bondies, or the hell they are. Can I get ten? Oh shit! Hope your restaurant likes uh, your daily special as a car. Um, so we got two cars, two events, two awards. The fact the song has even I Want to Be Sedated, which in the mid-2000s, EA wanted to put classic songs and remixes of classic songs in every single racing game ever. So, yeah, we want a car. The uh, custom compact, which we will use next, um, which it looks like a Focus RS. Low key. I mean, with the wing, it kind of does. 
so obviously we get another car there. So this takedown brings us. Actually, fuck that. We're using that. I saw like that car. The Assassin Compact. Eat car. I, wow. Eat pillar car. So, first car takedown. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and... Ooh, there's a face-off event. Face-off event basically means you win that given car. So, um, what we'll do, we might do Kings of the Road next. Um... There's an event available at Silver Lake. I'm bouncing this. So I'm going to go ahead and bang a. One of the events out at Silver Lake. What's the matter with you? Is your nav system working? Then why aren't you at the Silver Lake Junction? Start in two. I'm, this game wants me to get bronze. Fuck it. Hello there, it is still me, Striker, working at Crash FM, and I am down at the lakeside. Yeah, no. So we'll get do uh, water, do the uh, waterfront face off. Just had a complaint from the workers over at the district business center. They'll probably bring out the burning lot. Kicking enough damage for them to see. Come on, you guys, boys and girls, kick it to the next gear. Let's go. I am Striker on Crash. At this point, this oh, we're gonna do the uh, face off, which you do win a car from the face off if you beat it, and uh, we're also gonna do the burn lap. Down on the waterfront, watch out for the trams, which are now back up and running, and provide a perfect opportunity to erase your competition. Check back for more info if you want. I'll be here working. This is Crash FM. Oh, yes, I forgot Rise Against was in this game. Even though they're liberal as all hell. Even though this band is liberal as all hell. Um, I freaking love Rise Against. Oh, shit. No, no, I want to enjoy this song. I want no, 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 Billy. I want to enjoy this song, damn it. Fucking this car is slow. Come here. You can take it. Come on, take it. Take it, little piece of shit. <laughs> little date. David want to be looking at us. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. So you have one lap. And it's safe to say he's well behind the pack now. Oh, God. He's, how do you go from five seconds to right on my ass? Oh, he's mad. He is mad as fuck. Oh, God. Up my balls. I'm just gonna find my ass around this wall. Cars, we got the locations, and I'm bringing the music. I'm Striker. I'm Crash FM. Up my balls, dude. Okay, where are you, bud? Oh, he's like right on me. This is gonna be close as hell. Oh no no no! I just lost it like last minute. Damn! I lost that. All right. Damn it! Damn! I lost it like last just second. Just a complaint from the workers over at the district business center. Apparently, our burgers aren't kicking enough damage for them to see. Come on, you guys, boys and girls, kick it to the next gear. Let's go. I'm Striker on Crash. Oh shit! I'm just gonna be playing this game. Oh, 
Oh god. Damn it. Death. No motive. Nice. How do you go from five seconds behind, like, right on my ass? Again? Someone explain to me how that works. Is there, like, some quantum physics I don't know? And we're still in first. Ah! How did he go from five seconds on my dick? Come on. I'm just running at this point. You can actually find this entire soundtrack on Spotify, which is nice. Oh god! Damn, come here, come here, come on, come here. I'm gonna trash you. It is hot, hot, hot today, so jump in the water if you want to cool off. We have everything you need, except for the thong bikini, which actually, I'm wearing the thong. I'm Striker, I'm Crash FM. Fuck it, turn and burn. Fuck everything. Get away from it. From all the traffic. Oh god. 160. Yes, second try. Yeah, we run. We were running. <laughs> so we got two new events and we got a car. So we'll do one more and then we'll call it an episode. Prince Ferdinand actually had a song in uh, NHL 2005, I think. Alright, modified comp. The modified compact. So we want that. Yeah, we won. This one's why we won the car. Um, yeah, we killed it. It's up to 18. And we can go to the Middle East now, which we'll actually be doing that next episode. There will be no Allah Akbar jokes, unfortunately, considering how liberal this world is. Liberal this world is. So, uh, this will do Kings of the World. Let me do, nah, Kings of the World will be next episode. Um, hey, check this out. I've just been up at the waterfront arena. Burning it's lap? the place to be. You want to see the hottest action here in burnout territory, and I just don't mean on um, the uh, burning lap. I think that's what we'll do. Fast lap times earn you bragging rights. Burning laps is what this race is all about. Oh, check the clock, it's already ticking. Okay. Yeah, we got a whole ass here. <laughs> you know, we got some good music to help us get there. Basically, we gotta run this entire track in reverse, so... Yeah. The more shit, more dangerous we drive, we get more boots, which means this will go by a lot quicker.
So, uh, we got... Once we get away from this traffic, I'm just going to rip it. And, you know, actually it's longer than, uh... Screw it, highway. Fuck it. Oh my god, I'm flying. It is hot, hot, hot today. So jump in the water if you want to Did you rub off. SPF you on you? you need, except for on you, the great one. Which actually, I'm wearing it. I'm Striker, I'm Crash FM. There's actually supposed to be a tram right here. Which you can actually use to take people down. Hey, this actually is yellow card. I'm going to probably drum to this for a while. So, uh, I think we want ourselves a car. So we got Compact DX, and uh, there's that. So we're going to start this next episode off in the Middle East, so if you guys like this episode of Burnout 3 Takedown, make sure to give it a like, drop some comments, click that subscribe button, follow me on social media. You guys know the drill at this point. Um, have a great day, and happy 4th of July.